for a bolted assembly that uses half inch 13 grade 8 bolts. The stiffness of each bolt is 4 mega pounds per inch and the stiffness of the members is 12 mega pounds per inch at each bolt. The joint should be preloaded so that occasional maintenance can take place. A fluctuating external load that goes up to 80 kips is applied to the entire joint. If the load is equally distributed to all the bolts, how many bolts do we need to avoid them yielding? How many bolts would be necessary to avoid joint separation? This is the first example for the factors of safety for tension joints with a preload main video, link below. To answer the first question, we can assume a yielding factor of safety equal to 1, solve for the number of bolts, and round that number up. Notice that the number of bolts is found within the variable P. The total external force P total will be divided by the number of bolts to find the external load P that affects the bolt and the members at each bolt. Solving for the number of bolts, we see that we need the proof strength, the tensile stress area AT, the preload FI, and the stiffness constant of the joints C. We can find the proof strength of a grade 8 bolt in English units, and for the tensile stress area AT, we can either look it up in the textbook table like we did in the main video, or we can calculate it by using the mean diameter between the root diameter and the pitch diameter like we did two main videos ago, link below. For a half inch 13 bolt, we find that the area is 0.1419 inches squared, which allows us to calculate the proof load. With the recommended preload FI for non-permanent joints like these, we find that its value is 12.77 kips. Finally, the stiffness constant of the joints C will depend on the bolt stiffness and the member stiffness. Substituting the values, we find that we need 4.7 bolts, which we round up to 5 bolts, so that the factor of safety is actually greater than 1. Assuming a factor of safety against joint separation, n not equal to 1, and once again, knowing that the external load that affects each bolt and member is the total external load divided by the number of bolts, we solve for the total number of bolts to find that it's also 4.7 volts. This is more of a coincidence because of the numbers that we used for the member stiffness and the bolt stiffness. If the number of bolts was different for each one of these cases, we would of course choose the answer with the higher number value. Doing this would guarantee that the number of bolts is enough to guard against both yielding and joint separation. For one more example in factors of safety, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.